Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of fundamentals of IoT, in short FIoT. In today's session, we are going to learn some uh, commands with respect to Python data types and data structures. Okay. So first of all, in the last session, we have already installed the Python software, right? Okay. So I will be showing you how to open that particular Python software. Okay. So you need to go to search bar in that just type Python. So in your PC, you have already installed that Python, right? So you will be having a Python package already installed into that. You need to just search that and click on it. Okay. So once you click on it, you will find a black editor like this, Python 3.11.3, .3, through which you can also uh, do your programming. Okay. Now, Apart from this, you will be also having a package, which is nothing but IDLE package. I will be showing you. See, go to search and type Python. Okay. So in this Python, you can also find IDLE Python. Okay. So this is this IDLE Python will be interpreter will be having some more uh, options. Okay. So see, I will be clicking on this. So see. This is a white window, ideally shell, okay, with respect to Python 3.11.3. .3. So this will be having some sort of options like file, edit, shell, debug, options, window, help, and all those kind of things, okay? It's almost same, uh, both the windows are same. You can also program over here or you can also program in the command prompt with respect to Python, okay? So in today's sessions, we are going to, for the data types and the data structure, we are going to use this particular IDLE shell and how I will show you how to uh, use the commands or the data types or the uh, data structures, okay? But the process is same for both the windows, command from black screen or this particular IDLE shell interpreter, okay? Both are same, okay? Now, let's see one by one. Let's first go to the numbers with respect to numbers. Uh, we are going to see what is the type of uh, data type, okay, of that particular numbers we are going to see now. So, okay, so let's see. Let's test first the data type of integers. So, I'm going with hash. So, it's just I'm indicating that I'm going to test an integer, okay. So, let me take a variable small a is equal to some value five. Okay. Now press enter. Okay. Now a equal to five. We need to know what is the value five. Uh, it belongs to which data type. So we are testing type in brackets. Okay. A. So it will be show showing which type of that particular data type five. Okay. Uh, which is uh, stored in the variable a c class int so a equal to 5 the value 5 is an integer data uh, type okay now let's check the float i'm just mentioning the headings okay now let me give a value some b is equal to 2.5 okay press enter now I need to check the data type. Type brackets in the bracket. I need to mention the variable B. Okay. Enter. C. You can see. Class uh, data type is float. Okay. Now let's check a complex one. Okay. So let me take the heading. Complex. Enter. Okay. So I will be uh, taking a complex value. Y is equal to 2 plus 5J. Okay. Now, enter. Okay. Let me ask the value of Y. Type Y and press enter. See, 2 plus 5J is the value we have given for the variable Y. Okay. Now, type It need to show which that particular y type is. Okay, y is storing 2 plus 5j, right? So type y. 
C class complex. So the value 2 plus 5j what we have given is a complex uh, container. Okay. Now, let's type y dot real. So we have in this value, we have two things. One is real value. Another one is imaginary value. Okay. So y dot real brings out the real value from this particular value of y. Okay. So y dot re real, uh, type it and press on enter. See, the real value is 2.0 or the value 2. Now, let's see whether it shows the imaginary value or not. Okay. So for that, you need to type y dot image i m a g okay press enter c imaginary value is 5 okay so all these values will be loaded a equal to 5 b equal to 2.5 y equal to 2 plus 5 j all this will be in a continuous state okay we are keep on adding the values for that okay now let's see some of the arithmetic operations okay let's go for addition let me give heading for this addition. Okay. Now I will give you one uh, formula like C equal to A plus B. Okay. So what is A value? We have already given on the top, right? A equal to 5. What is B value? B equal to 2.5. Okay. So A plus B addition, that means 5 plus 2.5 which gives the result of 7.5 that should be stored in C. Okay. So C equal to A plus B we have given and press enter. Okay. Already the arithmetic operation has been done at the background. Now let's check the value of C. Okay. Just type C and press enter. C. What is the value of A? 5. What is the value of B? 2.5. So 5 plus 2.5 is the 7.5 that is stored in C. So it is displaying 7.5 as the value. Now let's check what is this 7.5 uh, type, okay, or the data type, okay. So in order to check the data type, how we need to do type, we are checking the value of C, content of C with respect to type, okay. Press enter, C. It is showing float because the value is 7.5. Okay. As it is in the decimal, it is showing 7.5. Okay. Now let's check uh, subtraction. Hash. Okay. Let me check the subtraction. Take some other value. Some D is equal to some A minus B. What is the value of A? 5. What is the value of B? 2.5. Okay. So A minus B. 5 minus 2.5 should be somewhat 2.5. Okay. So press enter. Now we should check the value of A minus B. So type D and press enter. C. 5 minus 2.5 gives 2.5 as an answer. Now again 2.5 is a float only, right? Let me check. Type. What variable we are checking? The content of D we are checking. So type D. Okay. Press enter. C. Again, it's showing float because the answer what we got is 2.5. Okay. Now let's check multiplication. I'm just using an headings. Okay. So let me take another variable. Some E is equal to A into B. Okay. In, in the place of multiplication, we are using star symbol. Okay. So, how much we should get the multiplication of what is A? 5 and B is 2.5. Okay. So, 5 into 2.5 should get the value. Okay. So, let's check. Type in order to check the result, we should type E and press enter. C. The multiplication of value of A and value of B is 12.5, which is stored in E. Okay. Now, again, what is the type? Obviously, 
road right okay so let's check type e see float okay now at last let's do the division also okay so how to divide means take some more variable f is equal to is equal to some a by b or b by a okay let me take b by b by a okay now let me check the value of f c b by a is 0.5 okay suppose if i divide a by b let me check f is equal to a by b okay let me check the value of f c the value of f is 2 okay so division based on the division we are taking okay so let's again check the type obviously the type will be type of f c float as it is having 2.0 okay it is giving some sort of float okay or 0 0.5 it is giving some sort of float data type Now, let's have a new, uh, this thing, let's check with respect to power in order to square or cube something, okay, power. So, I'm giving one more variable, G is equal to A, in order to give the power, what we need to do is, you need to have a variable which is holding a value, let us say A and two stars need to be written star star two which is considered as a square okay so what is the value of a a is a value is phi right so phi square should be phi phi is the 25 okay let me check press enter and get the value of g type g and enter see the value of g is 25 now let's check the uh, type with respect to value g c 25 is integer data type right so this is how to check the type and perform arithmetic operations okay as well as how to check the data types mm -hmm.